Hello there and a very warm welcome to Ditch Heat Dex. A quick look at just some of the runners on the Friday of Aintree's Grand National Meeting. That's day two. Paul, plenty of interesting prospects on the card, not least Pick Dory, who goes for his second consecutive win in the Melling Chase. Yeah, really looking forward to running Pick Dory. Um, it's a good looking race, um, but you'd expect that for a grade one. Uh, he's been in great form this season, won very nicely. The last day at Ascot, beating two very good horses. Um, loves his track, loves the ground. So, yeah, we've got a leading chance, I'd say. I mean, you know, you've got John Bond in there. I mean, he's going to be, you know, fresh. He didn't go to Cheltenham either. He's two and a half, I think, will suit him. Uh, protect the cat. Obviously, had a hard race at Cheltenham. Very hard race. He bounces back. He's in with the mix, you know, as, as, as some of the others. It's a good race, as you'd expect, as I said. But we're looking forward to him running. I think he's one of our leading chances of the week. Excellent. Uh, and like you say, it is one of the hottest races of the week. He's currently a three yeah. to one chance. A couple of handicappers I want to ask you about, Paul, in the opener at 220. It's five places to each way punters on the best first sports book. You have two in it. Sonny Gino, who showed good form on soft ground on the track earlier this season and in the water side. Yeah, Son Sonny Gino didn't run so well at Chant on the last day. I'm not sure he's in love with that track. He loves Aintree. Flat track suits him very well. Um, Fred is taking a handy five pound off. We haven't got too much to play with with our handicap mark, but he loves it round here. Of course, ran very well in the race last year. And as you say, won at Aintree back in the autumn. Um, and in the water side, just scraped in, uh, which I was delighted with because I think he's a very progressive horse. He ran very well at Ascot the last day, despite getting very lit up beforehand and at the start and running free in the race. So he's going to run in a hood, which hopefully will just keep him chilled. Um, you know, potentially he's a nice horse and he could run very well. Excellent. He's a nine to one chance at the moment. Don't forget five places each way punters there in the offer Thursday and Friday on the Betfair Sportsbook a completely free bet on horse racing multiples don't forget to opt in for that and do it responsibly in the 5.15 ball the race that concludes the card it's for conditionals and amateurs you have Freddie Gingell claiming a very valuable five off Affidil uh, five places each way punters there yeah he, he ran very well in the county hurdle um, on, on ground we thought was too soft for him he led over the last having got a nice lead in front ran very well this track, flat track, suits him better. He, he's won well at Musselburgh twice. I think he'll run very well. I've had this race in mind for a long time. The more it dries up between now and Friday, hopefully the heavy bits will have gone. That'll help him. So, yeah, he's got a nice chance. Um, and, and one of the other handicaps as well, I've got two, uh, Kandu Kid and Gal Destin running the top of him. Uh, Kandu Kid, although he does like better ground, I kept looking into his form and he's won on the soft. He actually ran very well on heavy ground. It would be the last day. And Harry and I at the time thought this would be a super race for him. Um, he scored well over the national fences at Lambourne the other morning. So, yeah, each way, big chance. Excellent. OK, as ever, you can read Paul's thoughts exclusively on betting.betfair. Don't forget the offer. Completely free bet on horse racing multiples Thursday and Friday on the sports book. Up in for that. Don't forget responsibly. Paul, thank you very much for your time. We'll catch up again tomorrow when we look on Grand National Day runners and some real highlights for you. Yeah, thank you, Barry.